Let me tell you about my other life. Many of you know about my life as a teacher, as a person who helps people develop all kinds of inner potentials and uh, transforming different institutions, but you don't know about my other life, which I don't talk about very much. In this other life, I have worked in some 109 countries. I have been the advisor to um, two United States presidents, three first ladies, and their equivalents in different professions all over the world. Why? Why am I called upon? Principally because I teach these people how to go beyond the regular elections and to elect themselves, to really tap into the immense capacities they have for dignity, compassion, creativity, and above all, how to see the larger picture in the world, not just in the outer world, but the larger picture within. How to bring the inner development to the outer experience and expression. How to be worthy of the time that is upon us, the time that demands that we become so much more than we ever thought to be. And the, the irony, friends, is that we have the capacity to do this. I mean, what with the new research in neurophysiology and cell biology, in the many, many stratum of human potentials that come to us, not just from our own culture, but from the great harvest of the genius of culture all over the world in over thousands of years. We are in the most remarkable time to look at ourselves, to take ourselves more seriously than we ever had before. And by golly, we have to. Why? <laughs> because as I keep saying, you're living in the most interesting and challenging time in human history. And what you do, and yes, I mean you, can profoundly help in making the difference as to whether we grow or whether we die, whether we can begin to make use of this immense treasure that is our life in time, and especially in this time when there's so many new kinds of opportunities and challenges and we take these challenges and opportunities forward, but first, by electing ourselves, by electing ourselves to be what we really can be, what nature and time and the challenges that we face in our era require of us. And that is why I am offering this small, very small salon called Elect Yourself. Elect these different capacities that you've always had, but have kind of pushed to the side, capacities for rich thinking in many, many varied ways, for crossing the great divide of otherness and really entering into profound relationships with others and with the world, and above all, with the time that is requiring that you take a whole new notion of what can happen in this time. You see, in all this work that I've done, one of the things that I've discovered is that the good news, the good news far exceeds the bad news. But we have become <laughs> so terribly addicted because of media to the bad news, to this war here, this terrorism there, this plague here, that we, the older parts of our brain, called the old reptilian complex, response because it's there to keep us safe, to say, watch out, watch out, watch out. Well, we have another kind of brain, and not just a brain, but a sense of presence, the universe herself. <laughs> I often say we don't just live in the universe, the universe lives in us. And this universe, looking at this funny little planet, probably the most beautiful planet in the galaxy, saying, they've got a big opportunity, don't let them lose it. They, they, this is the time for new orders of inspiration. This is time for new orders of, of deep, seeing and discovering of who and what they really are. Yes, who and what you really are. Oh, dear friends, it's time to elect yourself. Elect yourself for a new state of embodiment. Elect yourself for a new use of the many, many, many different capacities of your mind. Elect yourself to be a problem solver, a game changer, one who seeks and finds solutions, who sees even the biggest challenges as opportunities and work clothes. 
and from this growth of your enormous capacities, you have the momentum, the courage, the stick to itness to go into the world wherever you are and in small and middling and large ways to really make a difference. Making a difference, that's at the core of it. Making a difference first in the way you understand yourself, in the way you can express yourself, in the way you can grow yourself. And in this salon, this small salon, just a few people, you will meet others like you. You will meet others who will recognize you for who you are, what, for what your gifts are. You will find an incredible act of grace, which is the act of mutual empowerment and deep seeing. And of course, I and my associates will be with me, seeing you deeply, calling you to forth to who and what you are, and also encouraging you to go out there, hero, heroine, more, spiritual evocator, midwife of souls, the one who profoundly can make a difference. Elect yourself, elect yourself, join us. And I think you'll be very surprised to discover who and what you truly are. Thank you. <laughs>